This is crazy. This simple piece of AI generated art has already generated nearly $7,000 in revenue. I'm going to show you how you can generate insane amounts of money with AI generated art. Guys, I cannot believe it, but the future is here. And now we can use this AI technology to create unique, high quality and copyright free images that we can make loads of money from. You do not need to pick up a pencil or draw a single thing. All we have to do is type in a few words along with some secret prompts and you can generate unbelievable pieces of artwork that actually generate money. In this video, I'm going to walk you through it all step by step, showing you exactly how to do it from start to finish, including my top secret tips on how to get this AI technology to generate images like you have never seen before. Plus, I'm going to show you how we can make money from them all for free. All you need to do this is a phone or a laptop and you're in business. If you're excited about this, then please smash the like button. And if you find the video useful, don't forget to hit subscribe. Now let's go. The first tool that we're going to use is this one here called Mid Journey. I did speak about this in one of my recent videos. Basically, Mid Journey is an AI image generator. There's a few of them popping up at the moment. There's another one called Dali 2, I think it's called. This one is my favorite and it is super, super powerful when you know how to use it. So I'm gonna show you how we can use this now. You just come to midjourney.com and if you join it, you can join it for free. It's still in beta, they're still testing things out, but it's super, super powerful. And the way that it works is you actually have to use it via Discord, which is a, a like an online chat program, but you basically can ask it to create you images about anything. And then we can use these images to make money and I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video. So once you've actually joined the Discord, all you need to do is come to one of these newbie tabs down here. And this is where we actually ask the bot to create us the images. And there's a lot of people, because it's still in beta, it's all operating through, through a Discord. But we basically just need to put in a prompt and ask it to create us an image, and it will spit us out an image. So you have to use this forward slash imagine, which is the prompt, and then we can type in anything. You can literally ask it to create anything. And this is how most people use it. We're going to take it up a level and make some slightly more advanced images. But for example, you could type in something along the lines of dog eating a bone, and then you could just click enter. And what it will do, within around 60 seconds or less than 60 seconds, it will spit you out four variations of the image that you've asked it to create. It will just think of what you're looking for, and it'll create you an image from scratch, four of them. And then you can choose one of them if you want to upscale it and take it a little bit further. Let's just see what it comes back with for this very basic prompt. So it's come back and it's given us four images of dogs which seem to be eating some kind of bones. And because I put in very vague information, it has to kind of guess what I want. I didn't say the type of dog. I didn't say the type of image. So you can start to give it a lot more detailed descriptions. You might want a cartoon dog or a Disney style dog, or you might want a really realistic dog or a Dalmatian. And you can give it a lot more information but it's kind of done a good job, which I'm happy with for those images. And this is how most people are using it. They're just typing in prompts of things that they want and it's spitting out some very cool images. But what actually happens is a lot of the images that people are requesting look very similar because they're typing in very similar prompts. What I like to do is kind of mash up a few different styles to create next level designs, which will sell like crazy. So let me just show you how I do this. So first of all, I come in here and I go forward slash imagine prompt. And then I ask it for something quite abstract. So I might type something like abstract neon art, click enter. So it's just produced me these four images here, which I think is quite cool. And then what we can do is actually choose one of these images for it to upscale. So I'm going to go for in this example, I'm going to go for this one here, which is version four. So I'm going to go upscale version four, U4, and then it will spit us out a larger version of that image. Now it's created as this larger image of this abstract piece of artwork. This is not it. We're not just gonna be making money from this piece of artwork. Yes, you could make money from that because it's a fantastic image, but we're gonna take it up a level even further because we can combine this with something else to make a way better image which appeals to a specific type of person. So what we would do is we click on the image that is produced, make it large, and then we click on open original. And then what we want to do is copy the link for this image. And then what you can do is come back to Discord. We click on forward slash imagine and then we click on prompt again and we can paste in this image and we can use this base image as part of the prompt so it's going to base all of the images that we now create on this abstract piece of artwork but what we can do is we can combine this with an interest that someone might have so for example if we want to create an image that might appeal to someone that likes cars then we can create an image that is kind of abstract but people who like cars might want this piece of artwork so for example i would paste in this image link followed by lamborghini and then click enter 
And what we're actually doing, we're actually going to be multi-layering these images. So we're not just going for the standard AI generated images that everyone else is creating. We're going to try and layer different styles to create unreal pieces of artwork, which we can then make money from. And I'm going to show you exactly how we can make money from this totally for free. And yeah, it's genius, but just, just bear with me while we get this piece of artwork generated. Wow, now it's produced these unreal images of Lamborghinis together with this mashup of this neon abstract design. No one else has got these images. No one's got anything like these because I've just created them from scratch. I've combined two different things and you can't deny that if someone liked a Lamborghini, they would like this image. That is fantastic. It's futuristic, it's modern, it's abstract, it's beautiful. So what we can do is we can actually upscale these images or we can get different variations of it if we want. Now the key to making this work is we want to combine really cool art styles or, or designs such as the abstract neon art design together with niches which appeal to a certain type of person. So for example, this would appeal to car lovers or someone that might have a Ferrari or a Lamborghini and they might or they might want one and they might want to hang this on the wall. So that you've got a kind of a target audience. So you kind of want to think of other target audiences and what images we could create that would appeal to them. A good little tip for this is to use ChatGPT, which I did a video about recently, which is an AI chatbot, which gives you ideas and things like that. So we can come to that and say, give me a list of niches that might appeal to men aged 18 to 30. Now it's given us a list of niches here. So for example, sports and fitness, technology and gaming, cars, lots of things here that we can now start to use for these pieces of artwork. And it's all going to make a lot more sense once we start selling them. But let's just say, for example, gaming is a really good one. So people who are interested in gaming might want some cool artwork for gaming. So we could use that same process again, a forward slash imagine, paste in the link to the original abstract image that we had it create, the neon abstract design. Then we can type in gamer controller. And then another little tip, what we can do is we want to change the dimensions of the image. You can type in dash dash AR, which stands for aspect ratio. And then we can type in space and then put a two colon three, which means two by three, which is the dimensions of it. Then we can click enter. And now we'll see what it's going to create with that prompt. Wow. So it's created four images which appeal to people that are into gaming. And it's a controller together with this abstract design. And we can choose one of those that we want to upscale. So I'm going to show you how we can actually make money from this now. So let me upscale one of these images. So now we have an upscaled version of this image, which is brand new. It's never been created before. It's unique. It's eye-catching. It appeals to a certain type of person. Now we can use this to make some money. So there's actually two different strategies that I use to make money from these images. The first one is, is the easiest one. The second one I actually prefer. So make sure you stay tuned for the second strategy. But first of all, what we can do is we can actually just sell this image as a digital image on a website like Etsy.com. If you don't know, Etsy is just a massive marketplace where people sell physical and digital products like artwork and things like that. And as you can see here, I've just searched gaming digital print and people are actually selling and buying digital prints that appeal to gamers that they can just get the digital file for like a PNG, which you can upload to Etsy and then they can buy that and then they can print that off if they want to hang it on their wall or have it as a screensaver or whatever they want to use it for. And the thing is, if you look at any of these images, let's be honest, I actually think that my image that I just created is a lot better than all of these images. So if you're looking for a gaming digital print and you're scrolling through Etsy, and my listing pops up there, there's a good chance that you're probably going to want to buy it. So that's the first strategy. So if you want to do this, all you need to do is just create a free Etsy account. You can create a store and then you can upload your images as PNGs and you can list them on here. And when someone is looking for a gaming digital print and they're scrolling through, they can see your image. Now, the only problem with this strategy is, as you can see here, there's 14,000 results coming up for gaming digital print. So I personally wouldn't go for that. Another little tip that you can do to actually help you make more sales and quicker is to focus on a more specific niche keyword that doesn't have as much competition. So a great tool that you can use to help you with this is this tool here called eRank, which is an Etsy tool, which allows you to see what people are searching for on Etsy. And we can actually find out where there's not that much competition, but there might be quite a lot of search terms. So we can just come here and you can search something along the lines of digital print. And you can see in the US, people are searching like 5,000 people a month just in the US are searching for digital print. But what we want to look for is things where there's, there's a bit of search volume, but there's not that much competition. 
For example, you want to find something like this here, which is Digital Gothic Raven Print. It's getting around about 125 searches per month, and the competition is very low. It does say 964 competition, but that's usually not correct because it's going to bring images that don't match what the person's looking for. So let's go and have a little look on Etsy just to see what the competition is like here. So we can see there's a few images that have popped up here, but if we scroll a little bit further down, you start to see that this is not a raven, it's a dragon. This is different birds here. This is an owl here. So there's a good chance that if you used to create a piece of artwork that was a gothic digital raven, then even if you've got a brand new account and you're not running any adverts, you still probably would appear at least here. And if you created a really standout piece of artwork using AI, there's a good chance you're gonna stand out. And the person that's looking for that might click on it and buy. And the more sales you start to generate, the higher you're gonna rank for more competitive keywords as well. So that's the first strategy, just to use it selling these digital pieces of artwork on Etsy. The next strategy that we can use to actually make money from these AI generated images, and this is actually my favorite strategy because I personally use this quite a lot in the past and I've made thousands and thousands of dollars from this very method, so I know it works. And it's even better now we're gonna combine it with this AI technology. And the strategy is print on demand. And if you don't know, print on demand is a simple business model which basically allows us to sell products online, such as t-shirts, such as wall art, and lots of different types of products. And what we can do, upload our designs onto these products, and then a company such as printful.com will actually print out these products and send them to our customers on demand every time someone places an order. You can actually sign up for a free Printful account using my referral link in the description down below. Now, the most difficult part of print on demand is actually coming up with these really cool designs and it can be quite difficult. Now we've solved that with AI technology. So what we can do is we can create these AI images such as the gaming wall print and we can upload it onto one of these images on Printful like a wall art and then we can actually sell that wall art and then when someone buys it, Printful will print it out and send it to our customer. And we don't have to spend any money on any stock or anything up front because it's all printed on demand. And now I'm gonna show you how easy this is to set up and automate so you can actually generate passive income from selling print on demand products. So you can just create a free Printful account using my referral link in the description down below. And then you can come to product templates, create product template, then we can click on home and living, wall art, and choose any of them like this Matt poster. Then all we need to do is upload our design, the AI generated image. This is okay on a small canvas. Now this is the downside to AI technology. A lot of these AI generators don't actually create you very big images. If you wanted to sell a much bigger canvas like this, 70 times 100 centimeters, it actually is not high enough quality because the images is not big enough for that. It's okay with smaller images like this one down here, smaller prints, but if you go for a bigger one, you can actually run into some issues. And the way around this is to actually use some more AI technology and you can use this here called AI Image Enlarger. And basically it allows you to upload your image You can choose for it to be made bigger, then click start. And what this will do, this will enlarge our image without making any lower quality and it will actually make a much bigger image that we can use on bigger prints and artwork. You can download that and as you can see, it's created as a much higher quality version of that image. So if we go back to Printful, we can delete that can upload the newer version and as you can see it's much higher quality in all of the versions then we can click continue so once you've created your product template now you can actually sell this online now there's there's a few different ways you can do this the great thing about printful is they've got lots of integrations so you can connect it to something like a shopify store which is what a lot of people do so you could create something along the lines of this which is, is called iconic they basically sell wall prints targeted towards entrepreneurs it's like motivational stuff I actually looked at the stats before. They get around about 100,000 visits every single month. If they're only getting a 1% conversion rate, they're making around about 100K every single month in sales. And that's just me guessing the, the lower end of the scale. Now, you, there's so much potential of doing this. So you could actually create something similar, maybe targeted towards gamers. You could do all artwork targeted towards gamers. You could create a full Shopify store. You can connect it to your Printful account and have it all automated. Then you could potentially reach out to influencers in the gaming niche, YouTubers and things like that, who could maybe do a shout out for you and you can maybe do some kind of revenue split. There's lots of possibilities. Obviously, creating your own Shopify store does require a bit of effort and time, but it can work very, very well. And you also have to focus on driving the traffic. Another much easier way to do this, and this is the way that I've actually made money from printing on demand in the past, is to actually sell things again on Etsy. So you can connect it to your Etsy store just by clicking connect here, click on connect. Then all you need to do is click on add to store, click it to your Etsy account, create some mockups, fill in the description, 
Then you can choose the pricing and then click on submit to store and that will actually send it over to your Etsy account into drafts here. As you can see, it's a draft in my Etsy account and all I need to do is just publish that and now that's available for sale on Etsy and people can find that for free, purchase it and I can be making profit in the process all using AI generated art. Another genius way that you can actually make money from this AI art is to add it onto t-shirts and create a t-shirt printing business with the print on demand business model. I already did that before and I made a lot of money from it and you can watch how I did it here. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit the like button. Until next time, cheers guys.